obviously we've had 12 players at, at the World Cup that's going to come back in um, you know, uh, a bit of time and you know, first and foremost it's about their health and to make sure that they're mentally and physically ready to go for what's going to be a, a very tough block for all teams across Europe 13 weeks in a row up until uh, you know the back end of January with some pretty big games coming up so certainly a challenge but you know looking forward to get our guys back. They'll be back on the 4th of November um, so uh, that's the first time that they'll be back at the at the HPC and then we'll just take it from there. Obviously with new coaches coming in that's that's also a challenge you know uh, we haven't seen these players for for a few months and obviously we've moved on and changed calls and uh, some of the things that we do, so that will take time in itself. Uh, you know, Graham will be in uh, Monday a week, and uh, obviously with Steve, we've we've changed a few things. So, no, uh, wish we had a bit more time, but it's just the way it is. Um, as soon as they're in, it's it's just the next job, and you know that's that's the that's the beauty of professional sport. You've just got to put your disappointment uh, behind you, and you know, a week is a pretty long time in rugby. We've got a big challenge ahead, not only about the Ospreys, which we face in Europe, but also 12 more games after that. And, you know, to um, get unity in a squad, that's that's a challenge in itself. And to reintegrate guys, so you know, there's a lot of very good people working at Irish Rugby, and I'm sure they'll be on top of that. You know, there's certain restrictions as when to the national players can play specifically in this block. So. That's why we trained with the academy guys uh, throughout the preseason. It, it's exposing them to top-level rugby. You know, you, you you obviously want to win every single game, but it's you know, uh, like we saw, you've you've got to use your squad and you've got to make sure that let's say something like Jack O'Sullivan gets good game time, something like Craig Casey, and you know, you you won't win every game in in both of these competitions because you know that's just the the nature of sport and. We've got to make sure that we get our young guys through, specifically focusing on, on the season ahead, uh, not only for now, but for the years to come, to make sure that Munster is in a good space. And that's certainly something we're trying to do. I suppose as a coach, it's the Lions forwards coach, so he, he's he got the he's got the credentials. And I suppose as a player, you just remember from those hardy kind of Leicester Tiger packs, and um, they were hard-nosed and hard-edged. And uh, hopefully he'll... Um, He'll bring bring that with him and, and and add to the group, you know. So I'm really looking forward to working with him. It's the first game first game for us against them, and we, we know we have them Champions Cup as well. So um, look, I've no doubt they'll be coming over to lay down America here. They, they beat Treviso at home, their last game out, and we didn't perform to our capabilities against Cheetahs. So um, we're hurting a little bit as well. Like so, we know back at home. Back in Cork, uh, we, we'll want to put a performance, put a performance on for for our own home crowd. You know, I think whoever's playing on Friday night, it, it's a chance for those lads to lay markers down. And you mightn't be, you mightn't be in the starting 15 in the coach's head at this moment in time. But uh, hopefully by the time we play the Aspers, uh, that you may put your hand up. You know, so I think everyone taken to the field. Um, a Friday night will will have that in their head, you know. It was it was a great two weeks. We you know the lads really gelled together. It was good, you know, in terms of the results. Obviously a little bit disappointed down in, against the Cheetahs, but that's just you know you're going down into their into their home ground up into the altitude. You have the factors against you, and we probably let a, a, a few mistakes there, and a bit of a resu result behind us. But you know we're back up on the horse now this week and. Uh, We'll take the Aspreys when, on Friday night. Uh, I'm the, the World Cup for so long now. I'm, I'm sure like all the nines that are in, in the squad are, are going, look, you know, when you get an opportunity, you have to take the opportunity. So whether it's this weekend or next weekend or, you know, Ulster or whenever you're playing, you have to really make sure that you put your stamp in the game because they're going to they're going to look at you while Connor is away. But when he comes back, you know, it's it's who's who's going to put their hand up to to try and get that extra spot. It definitely like, thirteen weeks is is a long it's a long break it's a long block of games and I think you'll see throughout the the, the the block of it that the amount of players being used will be will be will be high. So I think it's good that we have a good squad, like like they were saying there, you know, we have a good um good competition at nearly every position. So lads will be will be champing at the bit to get a go and they'll be delighted because you can't play the same 15 players for, for 13 weeks in a row. So you're 
you're going to see the Irish guys come back. They'll be allowed to play one or two games, and then they might have to take another break. And guys will just be be ready at uh, on, the, on the sidelines, ready for that opportunity that they get. No, but you know, if, if there's no easy games in in the Pro 14, but going away to Ulster and going away to Leinster is definitely a tough start to any season. So I I wouldn't I wouldn't put them down just quite yet, just because they they mightn't have had the best two games to start. They're after bouncing back now with a home win against Benetton, so. They're definitely, you know, they're they're going to be there, and they're not they're not going to to leave us. They're not going to come over here and leave us. Just have a win.